Hi, this is John Muller with the J.P. Muller Group, and I wanted to uh, address a certain question that came from one of our uh, users. They asked if they could have their users of the project plan template work in their own spreadsheets and update tasks and have it update to the project plan. How would you do all that? So it involves a number of steps. Uh, in their case, they were talking about having completely separate Google Sheets that um, are linked. Right, and we'll go through that example today. But you wouldn't even have to go that far. You may be able to create your own separate tabs within the work within the project plan template and have them work in there. And then you could use the, the sharing and, and, and permissions functions to control who could see where edit what. But with that said, I'd like to address actually the um, the full um, ask from this customer where there's separate sheets, etc. To make it easier, I created a simple plan that has task IDs task names, owners, and status. This is our master project plan, and you can see the tab down here says project plan. So this, let's say this represents the template and, and your main plan. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create, so in this case we have two people we wanna update, um, or in, in my user's case, they had two separate sheets. So let's do file new, spreadsheet, and uh, we'll call this John's tasks. We'll go back to our master plan up here and um, we'll literally copy, just copy the whole right click, excuse me, loop command C here. We'll go back to John's tasks, do um, paste. Okay. And then we're going to delete any tasks that are in his. We can use the filtering if you want to limit it and then, then delete. Um, but in this case, we'll do John's tasks, okay? And the next thing we're going to do, actually, let's rename this here, plan, call it tab plan. The next thing we're going to do is go back to the master plan, and we need to create a sheet for Kate. So, uh, new spreadsheet, we'll call it Kate's tasks. Again, we're going to paste in here the plan. And then we're going to remove the items that aren't hers. Uh, we'll call it plan. So they could go in here to uh, John's tasks or Kate's tasks and they could edit their information, right? So they may be putting in progress. Let's go to John's task. We'll put it's not started. Maybe he puts completed for the other one. Okay, so how do I get that into the master plan? So there's really a two step process. The first step is we want to basically import their whole tab to our whole tab. So in here, I'm going to add a sheet. I'm going to call it John. And on this sheet, I'm going to tell it to import a range. But in order to import the range, I need to know the URL from the other sheets. So I simply go over here, I'm going to highlight the URL, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go back to the master plan, and in here I'm going to enter the following formula. Import, oops, equals import, equals import range, and in quotes I'm going to put that whole URL and I could get rid of everything after the slash edit. And then I have to put what range I want to actually import from the other sheet. And I do it in double quotes. And I first put the name of the tab, exclamation point, and then the range. And close that tag. And you'll notice I get a reference error. When I highlight it, you ask me if I want to allow access. You got to do that the first time and then you're good. So I say allow access. Now we are linked up properly. I need to do that whole other process to link to the second sheet. So I'm going to do another sheet. And I'm going to put, call this one Kate. 
Oop, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to do another sheet. That's incorrect. Let me close that for a second. I had another tab. Apologize. Do Kate. And I use the same import function. Oh, first I have to grab the URL. Copy it. Equal import range in quotes. Back up, get rid of everything after slash edit. Put the range plan, exclamation point A one Z quote close. I get my reference error, hover over that, allow access. Okay, so now notice I have in progress here. I've completed and not started. So I actually have brought the data or linked the sheets up. Now what I need to do is for my project plan sheet, I need to do a lookup. But the lookup needs to be smart enough to look up on both John and Kate. All right, All right so here's how we're going to actually do a V lookup across two uh, ranges or basically two tabs. First we're going to start to enter the VLOOKUP formula and the first argument we put is what we're going to look up. In this case we're going to look up the task A2. Then we got to put where are we going to look it up? You know, what range? In order to put multiple ranges you need to put them within braces right like those and separated by semicolons. Right, so we have semicolon to the left of the semicolon. Whoop, sorry about that. Let me start that over again. Look up A2, and we'll do braces. Okay, so the first range we're going to look up is in the spreadsheet in the tab John, and we're going to look up A dollar one to D. So the first four columns. If we don't find it there, we want to look in. Kate, so we'll put a semicolon, that's how you separate ranges when you're looking at multiple ranges, and we're going to put up Kate, and the same thing, A dollars one colon D. Close it with braces, we want to return back to the fourth column, which is the status, and we want an exact match, so we'll enter false. Notice we have not started. Now, I could copy that all the way down if I want, but I don't want to do that. <clears throat> I'd like to only have to enter it once. So I don't have to worry about lines being inserted or etc. So I'm just going to leave this first one here and I'm going to wrap it in what's called an array formula. So when I do an array formula, I'm going to wrap it. And the one thing I have to do is change my ranges that aren't anchored. These are anchored ranges, but this first one, A2, I'm going to put colon A, which means look up everything in the entire column. Go one by one until I no longer reach that range. So I'm going to hit enter. And when it refreshes, notice it found all the statuses from the two tabs. However, it has all these NAs. I can make this formula a little bit smarter. <clears throat> Before I do the VLOOKUP, I'm going to put an IF statement. And I'm going to look first if anything in column A equals blank, meaning I have no task ID. If so, I'm going to return back nothing. Otherwise, I'll return back the value I find in the other sheet. Let's let that refresh. And there you go. So let's test all this out. Let's actually jump over to John's tests. And let's say he has got one completed. Let's say the other one now is in progress. When I go back to my master plan, you'll now see that item switches to in progress. And that's how we could enable users from another spreadsheet Enter data that affects our project plan. Thanks for watching, and keep those comments and questions and suggestions coming. You're really helping building something special.